Good morning, brothers and sisters, and welcome to morning prayer. This is Friday, the 18th week in ordinary time. Our morning prayer begins on page 678. Today is also the commemoration of Claire, consecrated religious. Let's begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. God of loving mercy, in this place of our pilgrimage, turn your laws into songs that we may find your promises fulfilled in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. All else be naught to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. Be thou my wisdom, and thou my true word. I ever with thee, and thou with me, Lord, thou and thou only, first in my heart, I, King of heaven, my treasure thou art. I, King of heaven, my victory won, may I reach heaven's joys, O bright heaven's sun, heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Psalm 119. Lord, you are mine. I promise to obey your words. With all my heart, I want your blessings. Be merciful as you promised. I pondered the direction of my life, and I turned to follow your laws. I will hurry without delay to obey your commands. Evil people try to drag me into sin, but I am firmly anchored to your instructions. I rise at midnight to thank you for your just regulations. I am a friend to anyone who fears you, anyone who obeys your commandments. O Lord, your unfailing love fills the earth. Teach me your decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of 1 John. Dear friends, if we don't feel guilty, we can come to God with bold confidence, and we will receive from Him whatever we ask because we obey Him and do the things that please Him. And this is His commandment. We must believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he commanded us. Blessed are you, Lord God of our ancestors, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed is your holy, glorious name, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holiness praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you beholding the depths and throned upon the cherubim, praised and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the heights of the heavens, praised and exalted above all forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. Reveal yourself to all men and women who lead a consecrated life of faith, hope, and love. Lord, Bless them and keep them. Give vigor to and life of each religious community and to their prayer. 
Lord, bless them and keep them. Guide the work of monastic communities, that through them joy may abound and your kingdom may be modeled. Lord, bless them and keep them. Nurture the vowed life of those who are religious solitaries, that they may be strengthened in times of trouble and brought to the fullness of life. Lord, bless them and keep them. Fulfill your promise of life to each consecrated religious who has died. Lord, bless them and keep them. Father, we pray today for our community here at St. Martin's. Father, I pray that we grow spiritually, that the attacks we face now are signs of doing the right thing, signs of following you. For you say whoever follows you will have problems in this world. That's okay, though, Lord, because we know we're doing the right thing. Lord, I pray for Father Rick, pray for Father Jason, will be incarnated into the COICC this Sunday with Bishop Todd at the cathedral. Father, grant them peace and grace. And may they know that they're in your hands and in your will. Bless all priests and monks and deacons, O Lord, that we would serve you and follow you with our whole heart. Father, be with all those suffering this day from chronic illnesses. Help us all trust in you. For some days the pains are so hard and they're so difficult. And some days we ask why. Help us follow you, God. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord our God, you robe your servant Claire with the beauty and splendor of innocence. Help us to walk blamelessly before you, that in communion with her and all consecrated women of ages past, we might inherit the kingdom and sing of your praise forever through the mercy of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we behold his glory. The glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us and in his peace. May we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and ordain his peace. And may souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. My brothers and sisters, thank you for being here today. Thank you for praying with me this day. My prayers stay with you. May you pray for me. May you pray for us here at St. Martin's. May you live your life each day following the plan and will of God as best as you are able. May God bless you and keep you.